we're finally in Texas. Eventful day yesterday. Uh, typical Air Canada lost my luggage. I shouldn't be surprised. Air Canada does this on the regular. Use the we're here. <laughs> All right, so why, why Houston? Why are we even in Houston right now? We're in Houston to build the brand new Powerline Podcast studio. This thing's been a long time in the making. I'm gonna show some clips from where I first started and kind of the process of coming through the Powerline Podcast and all the different various studios that I've had and mostly been at home studios. You know, during the pandemic, during COVID, I had to record most episodes over the internet. So most of them are just done in my own home with a green screen or a makeshift studio. So it's super nice to finally be at Kiwana Services headquarters here in Houston, Texas. And we're gonna build out this studio. It's a state-of-the-art studio. Uh, we'll show you the full process. I can't wait to get this going. Super stoked. Um, do I have that spot on there, so? You think this process would be easy, but it's not a simple process, uh, especially when you're dealing with a corporate entity. There's a lot of parties involved, but I honestly couldn't have made this happen without Quanta Services and without the amazing team behind me from Megan to Brian, Drew, Reese, Dex, uh, Sadie, Kwame, like the whole team, Josh too, helped put the studio together. It was really a team effort. We made the thing happen, made it all come together and I really couldn't be more excited about it. Also want to give a uh, special thanks to Duke, especially for really making this all happen. Reggie, uh, the, the guys in the facilities department, the IT department, and really everybody else that pulled this together, worked together and made this studio happen. Special thanks to everyone. I appreciate it. Dude, look at this gear. Isn't this crazy? Look at these. How many times have you seen this many lights just stack up over each other? And then like casually over here. There he is. I don't know, $4,000 lens just chilling over here. <laughs> Welcome to the gear room for the podcast studio. Unboxing day. So this is the fun day. Well, kind of fun day. We got to deal with all the junk after, but we're uh, spending the day unboxing all the, the new gear for the podcast studio. what I actually want to open right here. Microphones. I've never seen so many SM7Bs in one room at one time. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Sweet. Look at all these lights, Dex. Have you ever seen so many lights? Well, maybe you've seen that many lights, but I surely haven't seen that so many lights. Yeah, spending the day unboxing gear and uh, putting this studio together. Pretty stoked about it. <laughs> All right, update number four, two, three, one, something like that. We're installing mic stands. I don't know, it's coming together, kind of. I don't know. The unboxing is coming together anyway. <laughs> These are the lights I'm most stoked about, Dex. 100%. These are gonna be so sweet. Okay, I'm just gonna break it. All right, for anybody who cares, we tossed around a bunch of different camera ideas. We decided to go with the Blackmagic Studio Camera 6K Pro. Best bang for your buck. And we're actually kinda of stoked about these. Here's the update. I don't know if you can see in the back. Dex doesn't have the exposure right, so you can't quite see everything in the back. <laughs> it's looking pretty good though. It's all in the details though, Dex. It's all in the details. When I was on the plane over here, I was listening to a podcast with Tim Grover. He was Michael Jordan's personal trainer. 
And he was talking like everything that actually matters is in the details. It's not the big thing. So you think of like, he was like talking to Michael Phelps and Michael Phelps is like busting his ass, working so hard to shave off like a thousand of a second. He's got to get so detailed about what he's doing because that's going to make all the difference. And it, I don't know, just scale that down to even this details. I'm going to try and get better with details. All right, final update. Studio's done. Let's go check it out. Come on in. been so long it's come a long ways from green screen in my townhouse to this that's been amazing in the in the beginning i started this podcast it was just like a nook in my townhouse it was my computer a microphone i bought and that's all i had and from there it really hasn't scaled a lot in the last few years thanks to covid and the pandemic and all that i did most of my most of my sessions remotely, which just a green screen in the back and you know, just in my living room still. So it's really cool to see a studio like this and have a really pro professional uh, place to record from. Super cool. All right, this area here we're thinking is the multiple guest area. So you know, multiple guests or also the trades people. It's more of a place to sit, hang out at the table where the tradesmen are comfortable uh, talking and podcasting. With the TV, this also allows us to have guests remotely, but also record a multiple camera angles, which is super cool. This area over here is our fireside chat area. This area is uh, planned to be adaptable, so we can have Powerline podcast episodes here with CEOs or guests like that, but then also allows Kiwana Services to have uh, record other content out of this area and brand it with various different brands. All right, gotta go. Open house starts in five. Before we go, I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek of what it looks like in action. All right, check this out. I talked quite a bit on the podcast about uh, apprentice master relationship. Uh, what's your take on apprentice master relationship in today's world? When I think about it, the difference between a journeyman and the last step apprentice is ability to train. I mean, I think at some point, no one says that's your that's your job as a journeyman is to train. How do you fly? How do you go to the bathroom? How do you brush your teeth? How do you eat? And so to me, all that stuff was so intriguing and, and you just get better and better at it, right? And, and uh, it's just fun. It's fun watching other people, especially rookies coming up and um, just doing the little things is, is what you don't get trained on because there's no environment to do that here on earth. There's opportunities, however you want to go, whatever you choose. Transmission, you can be, become a bare hand, you can work out of a helicopter. I mean, if you're into that stuff, that's, yep. that's those avenues that you can take which is great about this career. It's a dial you can turn on your opportunities in different areas you can go, but as well as like, if you need, wanna bump up your finances, you wanna save a little bit more, you can hit the road, hit the big projects and make the big money. But then if you wanna like get home with the family a little bit more, start a family and you want you know, flip to some district work, you can, it really is a dial that you can turn. All right guys, this studio has been in the works for almost a year. I've been dreaming about it for four years. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoy the content that we make out of this. We're putting our heart and soul into it and I can't wait to see where this thing goes. So if I could ask one thing from you guys to help grow this 
it's go to YouTube, go to the streaming platforms you listen to the podcast on and just make sure you're subscribed. I love you guys. See you in the next one. Peace.